Hello everyone, I'm Pierre Banks. We're less than two months removed from Appalachian's historic Dollar General Bowl victory over the Toledo Rockets. And today, the Mountaineers take the first step at laying the groundwork and making a run at a possible third straight Sunbelt crown. Man, I'm just excited to be back here and be, be right with our guys. You know, we've been on the road the last three weeks and uh, to get back here and to see their, those faces and uh, to get back here on the football field is exciting for us. And I was very excited about today. I mean, we came out, we had great attitude, great effort, and the guys were flying around. You know, and a lot of these older guys, they picked up right where they left off uh, from the bowl week practices in that game. And that, that's what it's all about for us to start this early is to get those guys and piggyback off of that, that outstanding season that we had last year. Um, and then now, you know, we're going to introduce these new guys and, and get them reps and let them get into the football um, uh, phase of things as far as offense, defense, special teams? Oh, it feels good, you know. I mean, to most people, not might not feel like it's been, you know, that long since we touched the field, but as a football player, it really feel, you know, wild because you used to go on week after week after week. So, I mean, ask the guys out here bouncing around and, you know, feeling good and excited to be back out here, as you can hear. And, yeah, so uh, we're really excited and we are already ready to, you know, get back to work and, help this younger team build and, you know, hopefully win another championship. I mean, it's pretty fun getting back out here with the fellas. Everybody been working hard and just chasing 2018 Sun Belt Champions. Uh, for us, we, we've been uh, a program that plays a lot of players. I think even though we had a lot of seniors last year, we're, we're playing a lot of guys. There's guys getting into games, at, at, particularly at running back, at receiver, um, definitely on defense. And you know, we're rotating guys left and right on, on the defensive side of the ball. So, you know, it's exciting to see some of the guys that, that contributed last year, maybe as a freshman uh, or a sophomore, and now their roles. Basically, what ends up happening is their roles just heightens a little bit more. Maybe they become a starter, or maybe they had 10 uh, snaps last year, and they're going to get 40 this year. You know, so so those are the kind of things that we're going to work out, and we obviously want to play the best players on on the field um, when it comes time for the game. And uh, but I'm just excited this spring. You know, you got 15 opportunities to get these guys out here, and let's see where they can go from day one to day 15. The Mountaineers will look to continue their incredible run at the FBS level in 2018, but it won't be easy as they have to replace 19 seniors from a season ago, including their leading tackler from the past three seasons in Eric Boggs and their former four-year starter at quarterback in Taylor Lamb. But if all the talent that Scott Satterfield displayed today is any indication of the 2018 season, there's a lot of promise for the black and gold. Please join us for all of our spring ball coverage right here on AppStateSports.com. For App Vision, I'm Pierre Banks.